I wanted to separate these for the objective um, three. This is adding and subtracting complex numbers. Basically, all you're doing is you're adding the real portions together and you're adding the imaginary portions together. The imaginary portions are the ones with the eyes. So when you have an addition problem, all you're doing is you're adding negative one plus nine. Negative one plus nine is eight. Then you're going to add the imaginary portions together. You have a negative 8i plus a negative 3i. That's going to give you a negative 8, 9, 10, 11, a negative 11i. And you're done. That's it. You cannot combine those two together. That is a complex number. This is the real portion. This is the imaginary portion. All right, next one is an addition problem. Once again, you add all the real numbers together. There's a negative 3 plus 1 plus a negative 7. So you're just adding them all together. That's a negative 10 plus 1 is a negative 9. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take 2i plus a negative 3i plus a negative 5i. So that's going to give you negative i. Negative i plus another negative 5i is going to give you a negative 6i. And just make sure that's right. Yep, and that's you go. Now, what happens when it's a subtraction problem? When you have a subtraction problem, you must distribute the minus sign. So the first parentheses, I have negative 1 plus 2i. Now, you must distribute the minus sign. A negative times 4 is a negative 4. A negative times i is a negative i. Now, combine like terms. We have a negative 1 plus a negative 4 gives you a negative 5. We have a 2i plus a negative i gives you um, a just plain old i. Same thing over here. There's nothing for me to do with the first parenthesis. I'm just going to write it down. Now, I normally like to line up. I did the first one horizontally, but normally I like to line up my real numbers together, and I like to line up my imaginary numbers together when I'm subtracting. It just makes it easier. You must remember to distribute the minus sign. A negative times a negative 10 is a positive 10. A negative times a positive 10i is a negative 10i. So when I add these two together, it gives me 0. And then when I do these ones, I get negative 4i. And there you go. The answer is 4i. Same thing here. I can't do anything with the first parenthesis. But I do have to distribute that. So that's going to give me a negative 12 I'm going to distribute the minus sign here. That's going to give me a positive 3i all over. So that's going to, or not all over. I'm going to add those together. The real portion is going to give me negative 4. The imaginary portion is going to give me a negative 2i. And you're finished. There you go. So I'm going to move over to the next part. Whoops. As I say, we're done. Woohoo. Maybe not. So now we're going to multiply complex numbers. So what that means is you just distribute. So 6i times 4 is 24i. 6i times 3i, you multiply the um, coefficients together, and then you multiply the i's together. So that's going to be 6 times 3, which is 18, and i times i is i squared. Now you guys remember, i squared is equal to negative 1. So you do have to clean this up a little. So it's going to be 18 times negative 1. So normally we want the real portion first. So it's going to be a negative 18 plus 24i. All right, next one. This one is a binomial times a binomial. It's a complex number times a complex number. So we have 2 times 2, which is 12. Then we have 6 times this gives you 24i. Now we have a negative 4i times 2. That gives me a negative 8i. And then we have a negative 4i times a positive 4i gives you a negative 16i squared. So I have 12. 
24i minus 8i, or plus a negative 8i, same difference. That's going to give me 16i, hopefully. I'll do the math. Yes. And then minus 16. And I like to put the i squared is negative 1. I like to show that so that you know what I'm doing. That gives me 12 plus 16i. A negative 16 times a negative 1 is a positive 16. Now add your 12 and your 16 together. That gives you 28 plus 16i. And you're done. Let's move on to the next one. Um, once again, this is just the um, a complex times a complex. You're going to distribute. That gives you 9. Um, I'm actually going to use the box method for this one because sometimes I know some people like to use the box method. So here's my 3. Here's my positive 2i. Here's my 3. Here's my positive 4i. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2i is 6i. 4i times 3 is 12i, and 4i times 2i is 8i squared. So you add these two together, it leaves you with 9. Um, I'll use this 9 since it's sitting right there. Um, 9 plus 12i plus 6i is 18i plus 8 and that's i squared. And you guys, we all know that i squared is negative 1. So we get 9 plus 18i minus 8. 9 minus 8 is 1 plus 18i. And you're done. There you go. Now the next one, multiplication of complex numbers. Um, we just went through this a few seconds ago. But this is a difference of squares, which kind of teaches us how to do this um, quicker. Um, and a complex number is, when you do the difference of squares, basically, of a complex number, we end up with a squared plus b squared. So it's different than when you say, so it's not a difference of squares, but it's very similar. But for complex numbers, a squared plus b squared equals a plus bi times a minus bi. So it's a little different with complex numbers. Okay, so we're going to do those. Now, first of all, we're going to multiply, we, we cannot have a complex number in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by it's just its conjugate per se. Um, What's the little wording that we're going to use? It's still a conjugate, yes. It's a, late, it's a late evening. I'm trying to finish all these. All right. So it's just like what we've done earlier. We want to make 3 plus, we want to make 3 minus i into its conjugate. Because when you want multiply something by its conjugate, you're going to get rid of um, the i. So I'm going to get 3 plus i. Remember, you just copy it, and whatever the sign is, you make it its opposite. Whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top. So I'm going to multiply the denominators together. I'm going to get 3 minus i times 3 plus i. You're going to go, whoop, that gives you 9. That gives you a positive 3i. This gives you a negative 3i. And this gives you a negative i squared. If you notice, the middle terms cancel out, and you're left with 9 minus, and then i squared is negative 1. A negative times a negative is a positive, and that gives you 10. So this is going to be 10 right here. Now the numerators, you're going to multiply those together. I'll do those over here. 23 minus i, 3 plus i. So 23 times 3 is 69, right? Not 3, 9, and then, yep. And then 23 times i is 23i. Multiply these two together, that gives you a negative 3i. Multiply these two together, that gives you a negative i squared. So I get 69. 23i minus 3i is 20i. And then that's going to give me a negative, a negative 1. So that's going to end up giving me a positive. And 69 plus 1 is 70 plus 20i. Now, there is something a little bit different than we have to do that we didn't do earlier. 
Because this is division, you want to factor out whatever they share. So on this problem right now, they both share a 10. So I'm going to take a 10 out. And I'm going to be left with 7 plus 2i all over 10. Now, whatever's outside of that complex number, if you can reduce it, you must reduce it. The 10 divided by 10 can be reduced to 1. So your answer is going to be 7 plus 2i. And there you go. Let's do another one. Now on this one, because I have i, I need to multiply, I need a positive 1 at the denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by a negative i. Okay? Treat this like 0 plus i. So you just copy it, and whatever's in the middle is now its opposite. So if it was plus, now it's going to be negative. So if you want to think of it that way, you can. We just don't put the zero down. Whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top. So in the bottom, you're ending up with a negative i squared. So a negative times i squared is negative 1. Negative times a negative is 1. So this is going to be 1 for you. Now in the numerator, you are going to have to distribute that. So negative i times 5 minus i. Negative i times this is a negative 5i. Negative i times a negative i is a positive i squared. So negative i, 5i, plus negative 1 goes inside there. So your answer is going to be a negative 1 minus 5i. So a negative 1 minus 5i. You don't really need to put the 1 there, so your answer would just be this. Okay, next one. Um, simplify powers of i. So these are on the ACT exam, just to kind of let you guys know. And I want to just kind of go over with go over with them with you. There usually is a pattern. I never can remember the pattern. I actually just write them out. So... The rules of powers are when you multiply powers, you add the exponents. So I could actually just go i squared times i squared. And the reason why I know i squared times i squared, that's i to the fourth power. So you have negative 1 times negative 1 gives you 1. Now this one here, I'm going to have i squared times i squared times i. Now, all of those give you i to the fifth power. So I get negative 1 times negative 1 times i. So that's going to give me a positive i, because that's going to give me 1, and then 1 times i is i. Here I get i squared times i squared times i squared. Remember, you want to put everything as i squared, okay? So this is going to give you negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, and that's going to give you negative 1. Now this one here is going to give you i squared times i squared times i squared times i. So that's going to give you i to the seventh. So once again, you have negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times i. So it's going to give you a negative i. And then it starts to repeat, I believe. So i to the eighth power. This is what I would do. I would start with i squared, and I would raise that to the fourth power. i squared to the fourth power is i to the eighth. I know that i squared is negative one, and if I raise it to the fourth power, I get one. That's it. Okay? So just to let you know, my kids who are going to, um, what do you call it, um, ACT, they are going to give you something like this. Maybe you can work on that and try to figure that out for me. And how many more problems do we have? This is the last part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some rules for powers. On this one here, always start with i to the second. I always start with i to the second. And if I make this to the ninth power, 2 times 9 is 18 times i gives you i to the 19th which will give you negative 1 to the ninth power times i. Anytime you have a negative number and you raise it to an odd number, you're going to still end up with that negative number. You're going to multiply that number by i, and that's going to give you a negative i. This one here, you're never allowed to have um, a negative exponent. 
So I'm going to put it under one. So what I'm going to do is um, I can get rid of it if I want to. But no, let's just stick with this. So I'm going to end up with 1 over i squared to the fourth power times i, which gives me 1 over negative 1 to the fourth power i, which we all know if you have a negative number and you take it to the fourth power, that means it's going to be positive. So this is going to be 1 over i. Now remember, you can't leave an i in the denominator, so you need to um, get rid of that. So it's, since it's a positive i, you're going to multiply it by a negative i. Whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top. So this is going to be a negative i in the numerator, and this is going to be a negative i squared. So I'm running out of room. So I have a negative i over a negative negative 1. So you have negative i over 1. And so your answer is just negative i. Now the next one. I have 1 over i to the 22nd. Now I can change this as i squared raised to the 11th power. Now remember, i squared is just negative 1. You raise it to the 11th power. Anytime you have a negative number, you raise it to an odd number, you know it's still going to be negative. And, um, and that's just going to give you negative 1. And you're done. Thank you very much. And we have just completed chapter um, 10. And have a good night.